Hey, hi, I'm back here with another review for you guys. And um, this is like the title says, My Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Total Makeup Remover. Now, I have been, this is in my project pan. I have been using this. This is like my second um, bottle. And I pretty much like it. But let me just read, you, read to you what it says it does. It's a total makeup remover. It, take, it says, take it all off with this gentle dual action makeup remover. Removes makeup from lids, lashes, lips, and all over the face while leaving skin refreshed and silky soft. Shake well, then saturate cotton pad. Glide over skin until traces of makeup are removed. <clears throat> so these were retailing um, at Victoria's Secret for $10. I don't see them anymore. And these were actually there maybe about a year ago. I think I saw them in the outlet, the Victoria's Secret outlet um, store. But I know they're not in store right now anymore. I think they may have a different one um, in all. So pretty much what you see in here is actually shook up, shook up version of it because um, I've been sh I had to lean it to read it. But it comes of course full to the brim. It's four fluid ounce in total for ten dollars. It used to retail for ten dollars. I know these you can get these off of eBay and some sellers um, that who sell like brand name makeup. Um, like I don't know, is it like clothes out makeup? Um, products they sound like the Milani and all these other things that um that that change I think even cover girl and all these places I saw a store I can't remember it what's the name of it but they sold things that were discount a lot of discontinued products that people liked so but I don't know if you'll get this um still from either the Victoria's Secret outlet or the store but um I know it's on eBay and you can get it and I really really like it um I know that it's not necessarily available in Trinidad but um, if you can get a relative and who has access to buying stuff you may be able to um, get this but this is a really 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 good makeup remover now I do not use this for all over my face I use this only for my eyes simply because it's um, part what um, part liquid and part oil so you, that's why you have to shake it because there is oil in it to help remove the makeup as you can see it's starting to settle and so you're seeing the separation between the oil and the liquid, which I don't, I'll call water for now. I don't know what liquid it is. I know it's just like oil and water. And sorry if you can see stuff floating in it. And those little things are actually cut and swab pieces. I bought some local cut and pads here um, <clears throat> in Trinidad. And when I dip it to take out my makeup um, stuff, they actually left particles. It would even leave particles on my um on my eyes. And when I use my toner, it would actually even leave particles. Um, that's how horrible it is. But I'm trying to use it out. I'm almost like a third more of the back to finish it out. Now, how does this work? You shake it, you put a cotton spot, and then you put it on your eyes. Now, I have very oily skin. That's why I don't use it on my face. But my sister has dry skin, and she uses it for all over her face, and it does work really well. Um. For me, I after I soak the cotton pad, I don't, I mean, not to really, really drip in wet. I place it over my eyes, I leave it, I count usually like 5 to 10 seconds, and then I remove it. If I have waterproof mascara, I keep it a little longer. And what I like to do if I have waterproof mascara is to flip up my lashes and just pull, it, um, raise it up and like swipe it up to get it out. This takes, uh, this takes out everything for me. It works really, really, really good. Now... Um, I know there's the Avon makeup remover which I also rave about and I will do a review on that very soon. I prefer the Avon than this just because with the Avon I don't have to shake it up and all of that. As against with this I do and sometimes if you don't close it properly like I think I didn't close it the last time I used it properly just leaked before I brought it for the review. Um, so the packaging is pretty good, it's pretty sleek. Um, when it's full it looks really cute and I'm sorry for saying um 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 so much. But, uh, there you go again. I would definitely recommend this if you can get a hold of it. It takes off waterproof mascara. It takes off um, liquid liners. It takes off the Milani Urban Decay. Yes, uh, even Urban Decay 24-7 um, pencils. So this, I think, is a good buy. For $10, $10 um, it may not be the best bang for your buck. I remember, I think, when um, I got it, I got it for like 50% off. So I picked up a couple. 
so I have like one more after this to use no actually all of the ones I bought finished the one that I have is from my sister because she picked up quite a few and she decided she was gonna give me because um, she knew I, I loved it so definitely if you can get your hands on this I would recommend you getting it I suggest you do not pay more than about maybe six seven dollars US for it as um, as I don't think it's worth ten dollars though and that's it if you can if I can find links on eBay I will link it below when I edit this video um, what happened is that I usually tape these um, videos on my iPad and it's something hard to type in all the description stuff or put in links if I put in links they don't um, they don't link you so when I am able to go to the computer on my laptop and edit and I will put in the links and everything else and so this is another quick review I love this product actually would recommend it for not for ten dollars but for about five six seven dollars and it's really good so thank you so much for watching and if you haven't done so please subscribe if you have any other requests you can leave it below and I will do an Avon makeup remover so you don't have to request that one so thank you everyone for watching bye bye